Welcome back to our Business Partner Tutorial Series. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at setting up and managing the first of the six defaults in the default setup area, Terms. From the dashboard, we'll go to our default setup and choose Terms. And like every database, we come to the list view and you can pick and choose. In a short list like this, you see everything. There's not much use in using the search features, but you have them here if you need them. And we're going to look at one of these more complex terms first. So I'm going to take the 5% 10 days net 30 delivered and installed. And you can create pretty much any set of terms you want if that set of terms can be made up from a net or single payment with or without a discount, three payments or two payments. Those are your only restrictions. So this particular one is 5%. If paid within 10 days, net 30 delivered and installed. And this last part doesn't have to be there if you never offer your cabinets any other way, but it helps distinguish one from the other if you also offer picked up at your shop versus delivered but not installed. And certainly those terms need to be different as far as what happens throughout the process of when you collect maybe a down payment, when you get paid prior to delivery or after delivery, all those things are some sort of progress payments. But you can create any set of terms you want. The name is something you type in here. This you're choosing your number of payments and whether it has a discount or not. And what becomes this printed description here is made up from what you type in here. And the math has to work, so make certain that you're thinking through this. So. This one is a 5% discount may be taken if this invoice is paid within 10 days of delivery. Number of days when the balance is due, 30. So they don't get to take the discount if they pay after that on that 11th day or after that. If this doesn't suit you the way this reads, you still need to put your numbers up here to make the math work. But you can type any description you want, and that's what will show on your estimates and proposals. Just make sure that it aligns with the math that's happening here. But if you need to be more descriptive, you certainly can do that here. This list view here, this is a sublist view, would allow you to move from term to term to term to if you were going to edit some portion of them or a percentage or something like that. From here, you can go into your estimate or proposal conditions, and these are the conditions you see on your estimate or proposal. So this is the short and sweet version of the estimate conditions. And as you can see here, the proposal conditions are much longer and more legalese. We would also recommend that you have an attorney in your state check this. This has been checked by three different attorneys in the state of Tennessee and uh, has proven to be effective but you need to ch have it checked in your state because there are a lot of variations in states uh, as far as the legalities of what you are to provide in the form of an estimate or proposal. All right, this portion of the terms here adjust total to compensate for discount amount. We need to talk about that a little. We spent a little time on the labor rates talking about markups and margins and in that discussion, we had a, a short discussion about reciprocal. And I want to talk about how this works and to allow you to decide whether you want to use this or not. But the description here says adjust total to compensate for discount amount, yes or no. So if you offer any of these terms like 2% 10 days, 5% 10 days, anything with a discount for early payment, you have an option here of whether you actually adjust the total to compensate for that discount or not. If you say no, then the sale price of the project will be identical to whatever the math is of your costs and markups. But if you say yes here, we're going to use a reciprocal to mark that job up so that once they take the discount, you will get the same amount of money that you intended to get. So let me switch here to a PowerPoint slideshow. And let's talk about a reciprocal. What is a reciprocal? To compensate for any sort of early payment discount you offer, we use a reciprocal. You might be tempted to ask why, and I'm glad you did. Keep in mind that this is only relevant if you check the Yes radio button next to the Adjust Total Compensation for Discount Amount that we just looked at on the previous screen in the Terms page of the Business Partner. For our example job, we will use a sale price of $50,000. If you offer your clients a 5% 
10 net 30 terms, that plays out something like this. Mr. or Mrs. Client, you can take a 5% discount for paying me within 10 days of completion of your project. Otherwise, pay me the full $50,000 within 30 days of completion. The problem is we actually want to make $50,000 even if they take advantage of our discount. So what if we just mark the job total up by 5%? That should work, shouldn't it? Here's how that plays out if we were to simply mark up the job by 5%. We take our $50,000, the amount we want to make, multiply that by 1.05 by itself and a 5% markup, that equals $52,500 or our new sale price or our marked up sales price. Now the client decides that your 5% discount is too good to pass up and decides to take advantage of it. Here's where we get in trouble, especially with even larger numbers than what we're showing here. Of course, this is a pretty big number, but uh, certainly many of the cabinet makers in America that I'm familiar with have done jobs of well over 100,000, 125, even some over 200,000. So the client takes their $52,500 bill and calculates the 5% discount, which comes out to be $2,625 and subtracts that from your invoice amount of $52,500, leaving you a check for $49,875. Now that's not bad, but you wanted $50,000, which is $125 less than you wanted. So you shortchanged yourself $125 by using a markup here as opposed to using a reciprocal. And I can't imagine anyone offering anything larger than a 5% discount for something as simple as an early payment discount, but the larger that discount, percentage is the larger this number is and we'll see that when we look at our markups but what happens when we use a reciprocal aka a multiplicative inverse instead first we need to find the reciprocal of five percent which is simply ninety five percent one hundred minus five equals ninety five if we use this reciprocal that looks something like this fifty thousand dollars which is what we want to make times point nine five which is the reciprocal of 5%, equals $52,631.58, which is our new increased sale price to accommodate for the discount. So the client gets their bill for $52,631.58, decides to take you up on your 5% discount for early payment, and multiplies $52,631.58 times 5%, which equals $2,631.58 and subtracts that from the $52,631.58 leaving you your $50,000. So there you have it. If you're using Business Partner and choose to adjust your job totals to compensate for any discount amount, you will get what you originally wanted to make even if they take advantage of the discount. And you make just a little bit more if they don't take the discount helping compensate for the use of your money for an extra 20 days more or less. Sometimes they take a lot more than 20 days to pay you. So thanks for watching yet another Business Partner Estimating Software Tutorial. Up next, setting up and managing markup defaults.